Thanks, Dan Wittes and Bill O'Reilly. In the Miller Time segment tonight, let's get right to the Sage of Southern California. He joins us now from Santa Barbara. So, Miller, I understand you were outraged when I told the audience that I gave up my radio commentary because it wasn't worth it anymore between the taxes and the aging commissions and all that. Am I correct? No, incorrect. By the way, Rand Paul's chest hair is so thick it looks like a black turtleneck. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was livid at the, the president for making a new normal, Bill. As I heard you say that, I thought... We've come to some weird place. It's like America 180, where we've fallen through the looking glass. That due to high taxation, a guy is saying, well, it doesn't make sense for me to work. And there are four people involved in yeah. that, and they're going to have to find. And, you know, it really struck me last uh, month, the new normal, when they said the unemployment rate had gone from 7.8 to 7.7. .7, and the reason is the host organism is smaller because 300,000 more people quit looking. Listen, I'm not trying to be agenda-driven here. I'm just saying, can we actually pronounce our problems that the reason it's going down is because less people are even trying? The new normal is really driving me crazy. Well, look, I, it's my job to be honest with the audience, and, and that's exactly why I gave up the radio talking points, because I looked at the sheet, and I'm going to have to pay this much money in federal and state tax uh, to do this, and then Swifty, my agent, takes that much money, and you've got like three or four Swifties working for you, so you know what that is, and then it comes down to a time maintenance. Well, I got to spend time writing and delivering these radio things. I did two a day. It's not worth it. So I didn't want to give them up, and the people that work for me in that capacity, we're going to find other work for them. But you know what? That is just epitomizes what's happening in our economy. A lot of people yeah, like me, and they're just saying, look, I'm not going to do it anymore. You're going to come in for half or whatever. It's not worth my time. And how is that good for our economy? It's not. It's horrible for our country. I don't get how the liberal intelligentsia isn't jumping off this guy's bandwagon now, but they hang on like 14-year-olds with Justin Bieber. You know, it's, it's over. It's time to get off. It didn't work. They're not going to do that. Times, you know, because they they, it's just like... It's just like ideology. You said it at the beginning of this interview. You're not coming at it from an ideological point of view. It's common sense. They don't want common sense. I feel like I'm being catfished. I feel like Obama's Manti Teo's new girlfriend or something. It's not working. <laughs> what are we pretending for? Ooh, that vision. I just can't. Ooh. All right. Yeah. You know this Steven Seagal guy? You know him? Uh, yes. He's got, got the ponytail and he kicks people in the head. So now yeah. he's over with the little goatee with Putin in Moscow, and they're trying to convince Russian people to be physically fit. Billy, I know people spray paint their hair on, but that guy's putting it on with a roller. Look at that thing, for <laughs> God's sakes. That is unbelievable. Look at that little inlet there. It looks like something they smuggle drugs out of in Costa Rica. You know, this guy is the only guy on the planet. The reason he's there is because he has bigger boobs than Putin does. We're sending Seagal over there. We're sending Rodman to North Korea. No wonder the world thinks we're in decline. Why don't we just make Honey Boo Boo the ambassador to Tehran and complete the Troika at this point? Fitness. This guy's coming over to fitness. He's been in a mumu for 15 years. Why don't you just have him over there? to teach acting while you're at it. Yeah, well, can we see Seagal again? Because he's not exactly uh, Jillian Michaels out there. You know what I'm talking about? He's, he looks like he's got NCRitis. You view him in profile. He looks like he swallowed an old cash register. <laughs> <laughs> so, but maybe that's the look they want in Moscow, the kind of hefty in shape look. Maybe they want that look because we're kind of anorexic they over here. That guy puts on five more pounds, they'll be spending $1.2 million to find out why he turned into an old fat lesbian. <laughs> All right. Finally, you've been watching this miniseries, The Bible, because I know you're very interested in theology. You've been watching this? Uh... Oh, I love the History Channel, so I have watched. Plus, I like Mark and Roman. They're nice people. Okay. Now, but Obama, the president, is a cameo. Is the devil in here, some people are saying, Miller, and you say? Ah, the press has been making them look like Jesus Christ for four years. Maybe it's time they just flip it out for a little while. Listen, I look at Obama. I don't see Satan. I see an inept civil servant. To me, I look at him, and he's Barney Fife and Andy and Mayberry. I, 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 don't, I don't have any satanic thing with him. I have no agenda. I don't hate the guy. He's kind of bad at this job. That's all I'm saying. So okay, I look but, but, at him, and it's, you know, I want to give him one bullet for his shirt pocket like Andy did with, uh, with Barney. 
We, we got thousands of letters about this segment we did last night, thousands of letters. And uh, because there is no doubt that the Moroccan actor who plays uh, Satan was made up in a way where he resembles Barack Obama. But um, Roma Downey, wow. uh, the producer, I, I, I can't and her husband Mark, Mark and Roma Burnett, are going out of their way like that. You Let me say so? this: maybe, maybe they put him on this show because, quite frankly, he couldn't make the metal stand in Burnett's other show, The Celebrity Apprentice. The guy's just bad at it. Do you think it may be subliminal? But they say we love both Mark and I have nothing but respect and love for our president. This is Roma Downey. Um, and, and they deny that they, they tried to make him look like Satan. But he does. And, and the guy who plays it doesn't look anything like Satan because they had to make him up that way. So maybe it's a demented makeup person. You know, I've seen in some of the Boulder Fresher shows that we do that you're made up and you look a little, you know, maybe satanic. I, maybe. Well, listen, I don't want to say Barack Obama's approval ratings are in trouble. But, <laughs> there he is. but Satan <laughs> issued a statement today said, don't get me involved in this. There he is. You know, I mean, that would have been a better Satan, Miller. That frightens me more than the other one, you know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. That looks like like Guido Sarducci on a gluten-free diet. <laughs> Dennis Miller, everybody.